Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Guys, we have uh, four reviews left to do and then we're going to be doing a tier list for uh, this promo. We're going to see how the tier list does in general so that we can potentially see how they can do in the future. We used to do a lot of tier lists before, uh, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and try that out yet again. But guys, uh, the first card that we're going to be checking out is going to be uh, Freddy Lundberg with the new card, 36k, so he doesn't, he doesn't cost too much. Uh, with these types of reviews, I usually do them because um, for the unfortunate souls that end up packing cards like this from like those guaranteed cards that they might do in the future um, for like Trophy Titans Hero or something, uh, people are going to be curious to see how this card actually ends up performing. So um, I did do this card's review before. I think it was the gold rated version or the blue. I can't remember exactly which one. So I'm very familiar with how the card kind of plays out, uh, generally speaking. Uh, the way that he looks like, in game, it's definitely a card that I have to give the engine chemistry style to, right? Pace boost, passing boost, and dribbling boost is definitely going to be very important. And I'm going to have to work with the shooting as it is. Why? Because the card is going to have way better pace to work with, right? He's a four star, four star player with a five foot nine height, high medium work rate, lean body type. So, with the lean body type, I want to be able to work towards that um, when it comes to dribbling as much as you possibly can. Uh, defending on the card, he has no defensive stats with shooting. He's going to be in a decent area for attacking, positioning, and finishing, uh, but shot power is going to be on the lower side. So you're probably going to have to take some long shots with some fin uh, finesse shots on the outside foot shot to potentially score some opportunities, but that's if you do get into those areas, right? Traits in-game, uh, he has the outside foot shots, and he has a speed dribbler trait, so if you're using that in the side positions, obviously it could be very helpful over on that right side. Uh, passing on the card, he's got some decent stats on an engine chemistry style. You do boost it quite a bit, which is definitely very nice. Um, no defensive capabilities, right? Physical stuff. He's gonna add, he's gonna be at a 92 for stamina. The thing about this card, right, is that the main way that I do see him being used is gonna be the same way that I used him before, right? It's gonna be mainly in that right-sided area. So for those of you that are building, you know, some sort of like uh, you know, Arsenal pass and present squad, and you want to use this card in your right sided area for, you know, legends that existed in the past, then obviously you're going to go ahead and get this card for a pretty cheap amount at 36k, right? But um, yeah, in game, we're going to be trying him out in different positions. We did four different reviews. That's why you guys see the team kind of being super, super low. Uh, we'll play him right forward, striker. Uh, we're also using the 4 2 4 as well, playing him in the right wing position all that good stuff, right? So yeah, we'll see how the card performs in game. Hopefully he's a beast. No. Oh my goodness. The AI in this game is just so disgusting. I hate it, man. Yeah, I had a feeling he's going to push a little bit, so that's why I did the skill move to create the space. Sometimes shooting it across is not always ideal because of the defensive AI. Oh, would have been nice if he caught that. Now he's going to get a randomness here. I have to score a rat goal to score. I hate manual goalkeeping. I, I, people cannot convince me otherwise with that mechanic. Oh, that's, that's so annoying, man. I get a good tackle there and then the kickoff, like, come on. Just takes too long. There's so much emphasis, you know, especially from kickoff. So Jenberg. So Jenberg. Collect that quick and make the through ball pass. Really well weighted. Nice. Good goal. Good goal. Oh, you gotta be able to score that. That's so ugh. Oh, 
Oh, I couldn't get the green time finesse. Nice. Get the pass off of Yunberg. Get the chip shot with him. Uppers. Ah, uh, we don't score the green time. Oh, lucky. Will we get the finesse shot, though? Let's see. Pass it off. Call him close. Oh, actually. No! Tap shot! Never know, sometimes it goes through their legs. Oh, I thought the power was going to be a little bit off. Did it work though? Let's go. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I almost still got the jam there. Ah, try to get the green on it. Unlucky, unlucky. Top shot from there. Didn't get much. Didn't get much. Okay. That one worked out. That one worked out. Ah, uh, white time to work there. We'll take that. Oh, almost got the jam. Ah, uh, white times again. I knew that the animation to shoot was going to take a while there. That's why I had to wait a little bit. Oh, all of that, and then just sticks out of it, you know, like, uh. Top shot! No! Oh. I have to chip it, because I, I don't trust nothing. I don't trust nothing. Oh, the fact that Mbappe almost gets that tap shot off with the uh, pass from Yudberg. White time shot. Still wasn't a great strike, generally speaking. It was still like in the middle. It's kind of funny that one goal that he scored was like based in the middle too, but... Nothing. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Yudberg card. So guys... Uh, in regards to how this card performs in-game, I do feel like the engine chemistry style is going to make the most sense. You definitely want to give him the pace, passing, and dribbling boost uh, to make him as usable as possible in this game. Uh, in general, the way that the card performs in-game, it's a usable version of himself, right? There's nothing crazy special about the Lundberg card, but if you do end up using him over on that right-sided position, you give him an engine chemistry style, you're decent enough at FIFA, you can 100% make him work. No problem whatsoever, right? Uh, there are going to be moments where, obviously, if you're up against, like, the full meta defenders, sometimes what you notice the most is going to be in the compo uh, composure department where it's at an 82, right? So when you're dribbling up against these guys, um, obviously, when it comes to the left stick, the engine chemistry style definitely helps it out a lot because he is still on a lean body type, which, obviously, um, is very important in his case to make him way more usable, right? But... Because of the 82 for composure, when you're attacking against people, there are certain situations where, especially if your gameplay is rough, where he's going to be kind of overthrown from time to time, right? Because of the fact that his composure is so low at an 82. Um, shooting on the card, you can definitely tell for base card stats where it's at. Uh, you do have to work high percentage strikes as much as possible to score your opportunities. He doesn't have like crazy special shooting behind it. Maybe, you know, if you were to give this card like a Hawk chemistry style, 
uh, to kind of balance out his shooting a little bit more as well as the pace with the physical. That wouldn't necessarily be like a horrible decision since you are going to mainly be using him in the side positions. But here's the thing, guys, no matter what area of the attack you get into, it's always important to have extra dribbles, especially if your gameplay is rough. So I still feel like you got to give the engine chemistry style, which makes him lack in certain areas, right? So obviously with him costing as much as he does on the transfer market, it definitely makes a lot of sense for how he performs in game. But for those of you that, like I said, that are building that sort of past and present squad to kind of have fun with some different players, make sure that you use him specifically in the right-sided area and he'll be able to perform at least a little bit for you, right? It's a usable version of his card. Honestly, it performs very similar to the gold card because it's it's very interesting because the gold card was someone who was medium, medium work rated. But for me personally, it's hard to notice a big difference in the side areas when you're medium, medium or high medium for specific cards because the medium medium work rate is actually significantly better nowadays like i remember using this card and being like you know what the medium is fine in that area so maybe if you use the card in a striker position you'll notice more of a difference but regardless it's it's not a card that i would recommend at striker it's definitely more of a player that you use in the side areas can he play striker absolutely if you play him in a two striker lineup you could totally do it but it's just not the most ideal way to play him right so um yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video today and i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys